Hi, I'm State Senator Bob Hasegawa for the 11th Legislative District and coming at you this time with a post-session high overview of what happened. Just to let you know that we have finished session now and by most regards, it was a pretty successful session. So, you know, last year was a pretty remarkable year, not just because of the COVID, but because of the general social uprisings and the acknowledgement of institutionalized racist practices throughout society uh, really been exposed. You know, everything from law enforcement to social services and safety nets. So before session started, the Senate Democratic Caucus, we all got together and we did a prioritization session. By that, I mean that we tried to create all of these, what we're calling buckets of interests that we're putting all of the bills into. So I just want to cover some of those buckets. And so one of them obviously was COVID-19 relief and recovery. And then we had a climate action and resiliency bucket. We had a large police accountability and justice reform bucket, education and opportunity, child care and early learning, healthy families and communities bucket, and a just recovery for all. So as we got into session, you know, all the different members of the Senate Democratic Caucus, we all have our different issues that we like to focus on. And you know my history, having been one of the few people of color in the Senate over the years, but now recently been joined by more. We actually increased our Members of Color Caucus by 60% last session. But in that happening, it freed me up to do more of what I would like to be doing in my work within the Senate. So it's so great to have all of that support. And I don't feel like uh, so much of the pressure for all the communities of color have been on my shoulders to try and fix. So we did some really amazing work. We passed a almost $60 billion biannual budget. Uh, A lot of that is federal dollars, you know, to be sure. So what we need to do when we're using federal dollars is acknowledge that it's one-time spending or find ways to make that budget sustainable. Fortunately, our revenue projections, we have pretty much, as far as revenue goes, recovered from pre-COVID projections, which were down by huge amounts. So with that in mind, with our improved revenue projections and with the federal dollars, we're able to meet a lot of those identified needs where disparities exist in our social safety net. And we're also able to fund criminal justice reform, which is a really high priority issue within our legislative district as well. So I know that that's lacking in details, but I'm only entitled to a three minute video, which has probably gone over time already anyway. So we'll fill in the blanks as we, in subsequent videos and newsletters and that sort of thing. But for now, I just wanted to give you that and tell you that not only has it been a very successful session, but a fulfilling one as well. You know, I was elected by my colleagues to be the chair of the Senate Democratic Caucus this year. So it's been a privilege to help navigate our entire caucus through this post-pandemic and equity-based era. So thank you again for watching. I'm Bob Hasegawa, your state senator for the 11th Legislative District, and I'll be talking again with you soon. Thanks for watching.